keep you abreast of all the positive developments that are occurring on the borderland. It's time to uplift the country. It's time to drive for positive change in Nigeria. And it starts with changing our mindset as a people and as a nation. Watch this video and I'll be back to share my own experience as the Nigerian Immigration Service. Hi everyone. I'm a Nigerian living in the United States of America and I've come to speak about my experience at the Nigerian Embassy earlier today. There is the saying in marketing, um, a satisfied customer will tell one person, but a dissatisfied customer will tell, tell 10 people. Um, I'm not a dissatisfied customer. For the first time, since I started having, you know, interactions with staff and services at the Nigerian Embassy in Washington, D.C., I, uh, I, I'm proud to say that I'm a satisfied customer. Now, the mind-blowing experience started at, you know, right before they opened. And then normally they open at 9 a.m. You know, the doors are open at 9 a.m. But it's about 8.51 a.m. While we were waiting in the car, my husband and I, a gentleman came out and, you know, went from vehicle to vehicle, from person to person, saying, hi, good morning, are you here for the Nigerian Embassy? Please go in. Please go in. We, we were quite surprised. So we went in. We were required to wait in the hallway. We did. And the gentleman joined us, you know and explained like hey please you know i just wanted you all to wait here so that i could lead you to the right place please come with me that wasn't normal at nigerian embassy dc trust me so while we're still trying to recover you know we went into the into the waiting room sat down he was like make yourselves comfortable please make yourselves comfortable we did we sat down then the blockbuster occurred when a lady came in. The lady was like, good morning. Welcome to the Nigerian Embassy, Washington, D.C. Um, please make yourselves comfortable. We have coffee. We have tea. We have snacks. We, are, we were like, no. Like, where are we? You should have seen the look of disbelief on people's faces. Like, we were looking at one another in absolute disbelief. Because a lot of us... Um, I've had previous experiences, previous encounters at this embassy. Today, we were treated like humans. Today, we, I am proud to be a Nigerian. I've always been proud to be a Nigerian, but today I will tell you, more than ever, as a Nigerian living in the United States of America, seeking service at the embassy, I, my, my pride was a renewed and increased so um i the, the the process was very seamless everybody that spoke to us did very well like very 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 well there was that kind of consciousness you know in how they did their jobs they did their jobs as professionals and they told us right off the bat like we're here to help you we're not here to be helped we are here to help you so you know you, we, that connotes multiple things and I'm not saying that they had been you know no but I'm just telling you that those services that you would you know the quality of service that you would expect and take as a, you know for a given at your doctor's office at the grocery store at you know at multiple other places in this in the United States of America no you couldn't take that you couldn't expect those and you know at the Nigerian embassy before today. So I am here to blow my trumpet and say thank you to the Nigerian embassy. Thank you to the staff. Thank you to the chancellor. Uh, I think her name is, uh, yes, Mrs. Uzoma Emenike. And I also thank, you know, Mr. Oyama, who is the minister for um, foreign affairs in Nigeria. Um, I thank the staff, truly. I appreciate you all. I truly do. And I know that, you know, the goodness has begun. We will continue to do well. I applaud you all. I'm not going to sit on the good experience that I've had today, you know, when I didn't when I didn't sit on, <laughs> you know, telling people about my previous bad experiences. No. And 
and I, I'm not still on this one. I am so blowing the trumpets, saying thank you, keep up the good work, may God bless you all. Um, everybody, you know, that consciousness, let's keep it up. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Nigeria in the Committee of Nations, progressive, prosperous, humane nations, we are there. And I thank you all. God bless us all. Applied online without using an agent. But I can say that it was an overall pleasant surprise, even though I spent the better part of the day there. So I left home around 7.30 and I had to make some stops on the way to print out some of the documents that were required for renewing my passport. On getting to the venue, the officer was on seat and he promptly attended to us by announcing that those of us who had confirmed our NIN should come forward so they could attend to us. Immediately, he went through the file. He went through my documents. He gave me a file, which I was thinking I would have to pay for, but I was told that there was no need to pay for it. That was one surprise. The second um surprise element was one of the officers also came to apologize for the delay in in service be it, uh, informing us that there was a technical glitch with the data capture equipment and that once it was up and running the verification exercise and approval exercise would continue as well that was also pleasant because most of my experiences with at the nigerian office a Nigerian immigration office in Ikoyi has not had such a pleasant tune. Secondly, based on the newspaper report from the Minister of Interior Affairs, Mr. Lai Aregbeshola, claiming that the entire process had been streamlined to ward off agents and those who would want to, officers who would want to hijack, hijack the process, I could easily confirm this to be true because you had to take in your documents to be signed and approved by respective officers. And I saw some people who also used agents, but we were all attended to at the same time. Nobody was kept waiting. In fact, if you were attended to by an agent, if you were brought in by an agent, there are chances that your verification or approval process might be delayed because of this. Because I saw a lot of instances of missing files, especially for applicants who used agents. It was also surprising to see that a lot of Nigerians embraced the online application model, which will further drive down the need to pay such exorbitant amounts of money from 26,000 Naira some people paid as much as 70,000 to 100,000 naira to 150. I even know of people who paid close to 360,000 naira. And till date, they are yet to get a date to come in and capture. In terms of the verification and approval process, it didn't take up to 30 to 40 minutes for, for renewals because it's a different section from those who are just applying for a fresh passport point in time the officers came in to reassure us that they were going to attend to everybody they were they apologized about the delay and said that they were going to they were working on the process to ensure that they could attend to everybody and where they encountered glitches they also were nice enough to come back and inform us that there are there a bit of delay in the process in terms of uploading the information can things be better yes i believe so with what I saw at the NIS office in Ikoyi Alagbo, I am very happy with the direction in which the country is going. And I know that as more people embrace the online model of applying for passports, the need for paying agents and paying corrupt officials will go down the drain. I realized that some people are still hell-bent on trying to corrupt the system. Nigerians, please desist from doing so. Because I saw a lot of people who were complaining that after paying 300000 150000 they could not even get expedited 
entrance into the data capture room. They were kept waiting till we also data captured. It was as seamless as that. So please try and follow the process and let us for once embrace this new system instead of beating the system to ensure that we can all benefit of the very changes that the government is putting in place to ensure that we have a better Nigerian immigration service. So, and that's it with my experience. I'd like to hear what you think about this woman's experience. If that is, the, if that is so in your area, do let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.